check it out. We're gonna start this video off with some quick tips on how to get some skinny, skinny lines. We got the Dang Paint here from Bombing Science. Big shout out to them for supporting the channel. Some of the more skinny style caps that are typical are your gray dots, some of your softer, maybe medium sized ones are these blue dots, and these are actually the stock tips on the Dang. Believe it or not, as you get more experience, you can get super skinny lines with some of the wider and fatter ones like a Lego. We got a few to choose from, but of course, you gotta start with a heavy shake on your cans. You gotta make sure you got that pigment all mixed around. You don't want to be sputtering out or get too much pigment down into your skinny cap. So I like to take a medium style cap and just make sure the can started off and then we can get moving over to our proper skinnies. So to help yourself out, look for some cans that have low pressure called out. Low pressure will mean that you got a little bit less energy coming out of that can. So it'll be a little bit easier to control and see we got a nice soft style out of this gray when we're maybe three or four inches from the wall. Take a look as we get closer smooths that up and skinnies it up quite a bit. So even at that same distance, we get a little bit softer of the spray from the gray skinny and then the stock tip blue dot, a little bit harder red, maybe kind of intermediate to the two of those. So making sure your hand's a little bit higher on the can, we'll give you a little bit better leverage here. And we're just gonna softly press that in. The softer you go, also the slower the paint will come out. So you can get see we get nice and skinny lines, not super crisp right now, but watch if we move a little bit faster. See, we get a little bit smoother. I've got my can angled down, so we're getting a little bit of a spray out there. But trying to stay with the can very parallel to the wall. See, we get perfectly smooth lines. So obviously a skinny cap is gonna be a great starting point. Low pressure paint is gonna help you out a bunch. And then making sure you kind of slowly depress that cap and only get it just started. If you were to do those same lines with it totally opened up, see, we get a ton of buildup and way more overspray. We want to be super light on that. And you know, that'll come with time as your hands get bigger and as you get a little bit more experience, you can get that feel for exactly when the valve starts opening. And I don't know if you're watching my shadow, you can see I'm moving my shoulders with the can there too. So that'll help. So you're not just doing it all with your wrist. Cause as you flare out with your wrist, you could easily blow out and start flaring the cap. So you want to make sure your cap's position to the wall is super consistent. I'm gonna use obviously these practices through the next piece. So let's get sketching. We got this sweet dang teal coming up next. Gonna do some uh, top level highlights by lights down in there. Now that we got the black outline going. Bam! So we got the light and the dark shadow in. Now I'm gonna hit it with the 3D. I'm gonna show you how you can get some skinny lines with a medium style tip. So you see we got really close to the wall again, really fine edge on this. Hence why like I was on one of my favorite cap. Moving further away from the wall, you'll see we already got some shading going. So you get more dusting in that area to keep it very, very light when it matters and harder when you wanna do some softer dusting. This too will let you move a lot quicker so you don't have to pop cats out constantly. If you can get comfortable with the Lego, you'll be in good shape. Get some little doodads to add some contrast. Bam! The next technique you can learn with getting skinny lines is also cutting back. So spray paint's obviously great, very opaque. You can cover any color with the previous color. So here we've got some washout. I'll even exaggerated it. So I don't want that shading there with the orange. I want to have a really crisp edge all the way to this corner. So I'm going to take my light blue here and I'm just going to position it so my can is actually facing down. That way I get a super hard edge. I don't care if it fans out a little lower because it's just going to fan into more of the blue. So now I've got that perfect edge and look, all that fanning, you can see it's still gradient, but it's going into more blue, so I don't really mind. And having that angle on the can means that edge is gonna be just even crisper. And I can do the same thing up this one. See, we got some in the actual darker teal, turquoise, finish off our corner. And then I could use a little more dusting just here. And you can see, got a little bit of overspray over here. So just gonna rework that a little bit and I can cut up this edge. And you can see I'm positioning away from this side, away from that side. And that means I get a really crisp edge. So the next tip is of course, when you use your cans up, you're gonna naturally get a little bit lower pressure in them. This can on the left is still totally full. 
I mean, Phil, we're getting pretty light over here. Now that my can is pretty much empty, I'm gonna start switch over to my full can for all the other shading, all the other big fill and stuff. And now this is gonna be my outline can. So I've got lower pressure to begin with, gonna be using the variable cap, so I'm win-win. So here we'll do a quick line across this arrow just check out that perfect edge now I can probably comparably get that same edge with a full can too it'll just be a little bit easier to control that's actually a good example you can see we got a little bit of outspray so we got a little spitting as it hits you know we got a little peppering on the light can Drop a comment down below if you got any extra techniques that you like to use when getting skinny lines. Always love to see your guys' feedback there. Big shout out to Bombing Science for holding it down with the dang spray paint. Really enjoyed getting these back out on the wall. And lastly, if you're in the market for some new sticker supplies, I gotta restock in on my holographic eggshells. You know, you gotta love that holographic finish on there for your tags or characters. And of course, that eggshell material makes these extra, extra permanent. Drop by the shop to check those out. That's gonna do it for me, guys. Peace.